it's been absolute ages since I've done a video. Um, I've been meaning to, but life is just so busy. Um, I hope everyone is doing well with all that's been going on in the world and the virus that's going around. And it's quite um, upsetting to see all these countries struggling. Um, at the moment it's fairly contained in my country, South Africa, but we still have to practice some social distancing um, and good hygiene. Anyway, I wanted to just do a quick catch up on my news. I've got a few th personal things to share and also it was my birthday last week and well this on, on Tuesday and I, I got myself a tarot deck, an oracle deck and a book and I wanted to just show you briefly show you to show them to you briefly and then I'm going to do a separate video of a walkthrough of the oracle deck um, it's a it's a it's a stunning deck um, so first of all um, I'm doing quite well I've had some I've, I've been feeling good um, after getting uh, medication for my anxiety it's really helped and I've gotten used to the medication and it still makes me feel a little bit sleepy at times but generally it, I feel sleepy when I don't get enough sleep the night before so um, what's what's also happened is since taking the medication and also talking to the psychologist about my bisexuality um, I still believe I'm bisexual but I've come to the realization that I'm more hetero romantic which means um, I prefer to have a romantic relationship with a man than a woman um, also what happened is I decided while I was just exploring my sexuality I decided to go on a, a couple of lesbian dating sites and I got chatting with one woman and uh, but she lives on the other end of Durban um, but it's quite a big city <laughs> and I don't drive the other end um, but we chatted and we really got on well we got so much in common because she's also a writer and she's had similar experiences um, there were a couple of red flags like she had had four uh, four divorces uh, she divorced four men but I think she she's a full-on lesbian and I don't think she um, belonged in a heterosexual relationship. Um, anyway, we really just got on so well and um, I would say in a way I liked her, but I don't know. I don't know about physically so much. Um, anyway, she told me she wasn't ready for a relationship. She just wanted a friendship and... Um, but then a few weeks later, she I found out, well, she told me she was going on a date with someone and she really liked this lady. She thought she was amazing. Um, I was not really, I wasn't heartbroken. I wasn't even offended, really. I just felt, well, it didn't work out. And I was, but there were a lot of concerns I had with her. And um, so I just... I sort of lost interest. I went off all the lesbian dating sites. I think, I think part of my reason was I am bisexual, but I was also of the impression that a man's going to break my heart because of what happened in my marriage. And um, I thought maybe it would be easier with a woman, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's the same. It's romantic relationships are always going to be complicated. Um, so then I went off for a while and then I took a break from dating for a little while and then at the start of the new year I thought this is time to get serious about this. Uh, also my astrology friend had told me that my chart was looking more positive for a relationship in this year and I just felt I was much more ready. I felt that I'd done a lot of healing inside and I was ready so... I went on some online site, uh, sites, but once again, it's usually the same faces that I see. Like for years, I've been seeing the same faces. There were a few new ones, but it's 
it's really bad in this country that the, the men, you message them, you start a conversation, or they even like you, or they start a conversation, but they never keep the conversation going, it just fizzles out, and I just feel like it's a total waste of time, and you pay so much for these subscriptions, but then the subscriptions are limited, and you can only do so much on the site, and then that person can't reply to your message, or you can't see someone's photos that liked you, then you got to pay extra for that. And to me, it's just a whole money-making thing, and it just doesn't feel right. Um, and then I went to a pagan group, and I met a guy there, and I really liked him. And then I was wondering if I should talk to him, because I re received, in, in a tarot, I had a tarot reading, about um, dating and um, the reading said that I would approach the guy first so I thought well that means I need to make this the first move so I chatted to him on whatsapp and we went on a date and it was we just talked and we really got on very well and but then it didn't work out and he he's just in a bad place for dating and everything and I was actually quite down about it and I, uh, I'd actually developed feelings for him and I realised when weighing it up how much more my feelings were for him than for the lady that yeah so and also I found that having taken my anxiety medicine has done something it's changed I don't understand it um, maybe it will change again I don't know I, I'm open but I think, I really think I want to settle down with a man one day and, um, yeah, but when the time is right. Um, okay, uh, let me, oh, any other news? I'm trying to think if there's any other news. I've been making soaps. Um, it's a new hobby that I'm obsessed with. Um, I make them from scratch. Um, so they're very, like those very organic looking raw material type of soaps but it's such fun I got myself a soap making book for Christmas and I've been experimenting and my bedroom is just full of soaps all over because they've got to stand for four to six weeks uh, in the open air to dry out and for the chemical process the reaction is called saponification for that to be complete you have to wait about four to six weeks before you can use the soap. So I want to show you just a few. Um, this is the plain one I made, the first one. So it's got like a very rough look, but it's got a nice, like very natural smell and it feels so nice and on the skin. I did notice though that when I used it as hand soap, it got a bit slimy, but it's fantastic in the bath. This one, this one is the coffee mocha one that I made oh it smells divine that one's not totally ready yet so it's got about a week left and then this one it's got about two weeks left it's a rose one and I put some dried rose petals from my garden onto the onto the top it also smells amazing um okay so I'm busy drying them all out and then I'm going to put them for sale on my Etsy shop. And then I'm going to try and sell them online. Um, not that it's going to be like my main source of income. It's just to, it's just to cover the costs um, to feed my obsession at the moment. Okay, these are this is a tarot deck that I got for my birthday. It's called the Affirmators Tarot. And then this is the Oracle deck. It's called fairy blessing cards by lucy cavendish um um I'll, I'll get into the details my cat is shaking a bit of <laughs> she's busy scratching herself oh the tarot deck is by who's it by uh, oh. uh the author is susie barrett and illustrations are by Vicky Chu. I'll show you a couple of cards. It's really cute. I've got the only childlike deck that I had have or ever had was the 
mini um, Sicoli tarot and I just found the mini decks I can't work with them with my old eyes it just it's too much of a strain I don't get as much out of them as I'd like so I actually gave it to my daughter's friend because she's into tarot and she was so excited um, and then I thought I really I've been wanting to work with my inner child I have been working with my inner child and to bring healing and it's really helped me um, I wanted to get a more childlike light-hearted fun deck so I got this affirmators tarot you've just got to see the backs they are absolutely stunning look at the and and the texture I love it it's so fun to shuffle it um, there's a six of wands so I'll show you a few cards they're not in any order they're just light-hearted and fun like the drawings aren't perfect or anything but I like that it's and I'm enjoying the guidebook as well. It's it's and it's been very accurate to read with. Um, it's got it's gotten right to the point, and I like her sarcasm, her affirmations. I wanted to get a deck with affirmations as well, but her affirmations are actually quite funny. <laughs> she cracks jokes. Um, like for example, let's have a look at. The Queen of Wands affirmation. I stand in my power and own my my limitless bad assery. Then I use it to change every shit thing in the world I can. <laughs> uh, it's cheeky. Um, so that's the tarot deck. And then I bought this. Um, it's a it's like a book to work through for the year. Um, it's for the northern hemisphere but what I do is like for example so it's it's working with different goddesses through the year it's not one for every day it's one for sort of every six days or so so at the moment I'm on I'm not sure how to pronounce it Demeter the goddess of the harvest so I just scratch out September there and I write March so I'll do that throughout the book. But it's a nice little book. It goes into a little bit of the history of the goddess. Why you want to work with her. Just briefly. And then it gives ways that you can work with her. So this one is you can bake bread. And um, it has different significances. Like if you put fruit in. It's to do with the harvest. Um, so from next week I'll go on to Nemesis. I love the cover. It's so beautiful. Anyway, I don't know much about it because I've only read the one. Um, and then the fairy blessing cards I'm not going to go through now because I'm going to do a separate walkthrough. Um, the other news that I want to share is that I took the plunge and I shared on Facebook that I'm no longer a Christian. Um, I belong to a, an ex-Christian group on Facebook and one of the guys there um, did that this week and everyone supported him because it's very hard because some, some Christians don't understand and they try and convert you back or they judge you or I'm not saying all of them are like that um, so anyway and I was very scared of family rejection or judgment or anger or I don't know um, and I didn't want to let down some people like, I think one of the main reasons that I did it was because my friend was quite sick and her husband was sick and she kept on, she she lives overseas and she gave me a video call and um, she asked me to pray for her and I just it was like at the end of the call I just got the feeling she was waiting for me to pray aloud for her because she always does that for me. And I just couldn't do it because I can't say things like dear Father God or in Jesus name because it's fake and um, I felt terrible. I felt like I'd let my friend down and I thought it's time that she knows where I'm coming from and that, that, that the reason I didn't pray for her is not because I didn't care but because I don't believe in that anymore. So... So I wrote up a, lo a long post on Facebook and I put it up last night. I'd also received, I'd actually also picked a card from this deck about honesty. 
and I'd done a meditation about on my throat chakra to clear my throat chakra and I really believe that there are times when we need to speak our truth and be authentic there are other times when we're not ready but I felt I was ready like it was scary to make that step but I felt I was ready and a lot of people from the ex-Christian group came onto my Facebook page and wrote supportive messages. I only really got wonderfully supportive messages. I did get a, a WhatsApp message from a family member um, telling me that God's a God of judgment and sending me a whole lot of scriptures and saying, I know that I'm going to stand before God one day. <laughs> so I just said... Um, but I'm very close to the divine or source or God and I just feel love so I don't believe any of that so they just went silent <laughs> um, but I'm so glad I took that step I feel like it's a big breakthrough like finally I don't have to hide my true self it was like sometimes it's really hard work and I feel I don't have to do that anymore so anyway um, I wish you all the best and um, please stay in good health and blessed be. Thank you for listening. Cheers.